Hello, my crafty loving friends. Shelly here. Today we're going to work on the uh, screen cloche that I got from Goodwill a few weeks ago. I'll link up above in the corner the uh, Goodwill haul that I did so that you can check that out. Uh, so this is all done with some kind of a, a ribbon, a waxy ribbon. They put in all these butterflies and all this stuff on here. So I had to go in and cut it out and pull it through. And so I, it just took a little while to do that. So I just kind of sped this up because it, you would just get so bored watching me do this whole thing. But I did this, I took all the butterflies off. It was really a cute little screen cloche, but it was, um, you know, it just wasn't my style. So we're gonna style it up. So as I was taking off this blue band around the bottom, I realized that they had basically sewn in the screen and around the metal frame that was on the bottom. So I had to do something different as I was taking it off. I had to find some wire to rewire it up. And so that's what I did. I got some wire and I just went in the same holes that they used and just weaved it in and out and in and out as I went along. There you'll see real quick the wire. And I start doing that so that that, that screen doesn't pull out of the little frame around the bottom because it was tied in there with that blue ribbony stuff. I don't even know what it was called, but. So I just cut that out and then uh, just as I did a little section, I would rewire it. So here I am showing you, I wired it in. I made a little boo-boo and pulled too hard. And so I got, there's a hole there. So I was showing you that. But all in all, it came out pretty well. And it kind of adds to the rustic look to have that wire uh, all around there so I really like it and here I'm just finishing up the kind of the sewing I guess the stitching of the bottom to keep it in so I get it all the way around it looks really good actually uh, here I'm taking off the little loop in the top that also has that like waxy ribbon stuff. Um, so I took that off and got rid of that. And it was just a little plastic ring with a little hook to a little bottom on it. So I, was, I just took that off. And then I had to reattach it to the bottom to the top uh, so I had to figure out a way that it would stay on there so I cut out a piece of cardboard a little ring the same size as the the top ring and I glued it right on there and then put the two together and I just kind of had to hold it down and make sure that it stayed on there and just let it sit and it stayed very well once I got it to to uh, dry most things do so now I've taken this down in my room and got my flat black rust-oleum spray paint and I'm just spray painting it all black I did two coats on it because there was a few spots that I missed so I just went back and and did that. So here I'm taking my um, cinnamon and allspice and all my little spices that I have mixed together that I use to grubby things up and my Mod Podge and I'm painting Mod Podge on the screen. I'm gonna make it look a little rusty. I had some paint, some spray paint that I usually use to kind of make things look rusty sometimes um, but it was plugged and I couldn't get it unplugged so I uh, decided to do it this way instead and I think it looks pretty cool this way I've never um, kind of grubbied up a screen dome before or a cloche before but I 
think it came out kind of cute and very primitive and rustic and it looks like it's kind of rusty and been sitting around for a while so I think it came out pretty good. So here I'm just taking the what's on the, in the plate and just kind of putting it on some of the spots that need it. I'm checking it out, making sure I got all the all of it where I want it to be. And now I'm going back over it with the Mod Podge and kind of sealing it on there so that anytime you hit that little that screen, it doesn't come off. The the spices don't come off from there. But it seals it on very nicely. I wasn't sure about if it was going to look too funny with the wet of the Mod Podge, but it actually doesn't look too bad once it's dry. So here is my bottom to my cloche. I got some little wooden pegs that I had and I'm going to use those as feet. And I'm putting it in four on the around the outside edge and then one in the middle because it's so big it just doesn't um, it kind of pushes down in the middle so I want it to stand up really well so I put another one in the middle and then flipped it over just checking it for level and then I took my sandpaper um, I think this is 60 grit and I'm just going over a little bit there's a little bit of a water stain or something on the top and I wanted to just kind of get rid of that a little bit and smooth out the top so I did a little bit there not too much just kind of went around and got it all smoothed around the edges and everything so that you know you didn't get splinters and things like that then I took some of my antique uh, Waverly antique wax and I watered it down a little bit and I decided to stain the top of or the bottom of this cloche the top of the bottom of the cloche <laughs> um, and so I decided to stain that so I just put it on all over and then I wiped it off and I love the look of this stain I usually use Minwax um, my favorite midwax is special walnut and I really love that stain but because I'm doing this upstairs in the house I didn't want all the the smell of the stain and the mess so I decided to just use the Waverly wax and it works just as well and then I don't have to seal it either it's all sealed and ready to go once I wipe it off So there we go, wiping it off, and I made sure I did the feet. Okay, so this is a spring. This spring I found outside on our property. Somebody had thrown an old truck seat uh, out in the woods. And as I was clearing out some brush, I found it, and it was full of these springs. I've yet to pull it all out because it's stuck in the dirt and all the grass and everything's grown on it, but pretty sure I can get it pulled out with the tractor. But this is one of the springs that I was able to pull out and I decided that I wanted to use it as some of my decor underneath my cloche but it won't stand up. I was going to stand it up, put a little of the uh, moss in the middle and then do something but it's not quite, the cloche isn't quite tall enough. So I decided to lay it down and put a little bit of moss on the side and it, it actually stands pretty well because it's got that little piece that I just moved to help it kind of hold it still. So I um, glued that down, gave it a little trim, and now I'm putting on some raffia. Um, I love raffia for these little touches um, that kind of give them a little, little rustic touch. So I have the raffia here and I'm I just tied it on there, did a, just did a knot, and now I'm taking the ends, it's kind of like paper, raffia is kind of like paper, 
and so I just take the ends and open them up and then I strip them down however many times that I want to pull them and then just fluff them out and it looks pretty cool I think so now that my dome is dry it did take overnight to dry um, I decided to take a little homespun material and tie it on the top and give it a little just a little color and then I also have this tag that uh, is just pure white so I took the rag that I wiped the cloche bottom when I stained it with the Waverly wax and I just took that rag and I wiped it on the tag and just gave it kind of a an aged look and then I went right down the string as well so that the string would be would be aged and I decided to write I think I wrote primitives on it with an S primitives with my black marker and then I've taken some I just decided to be really creative and take some Mod Podge and put it on the tag and then take some of my spices and put that on there as well so they're all it's all bumpy and and uh, smells great and then I also over by where the hole is where the string comes out I did cut the corners off to make it look more like a tag because it was just a straight square tag when I started so I don't think I showed that part but I did cut the corners off so I'm gonna tie that on the top and it just gives it a little touch of a primitive and so I did that and I cut the strings and then here is the finished product there's a couple different designs for you to check out hope you like it I think it came out so cute and what a difference from when I first started with all the butterflies on it Hope you like it guys I even threw in some Halloween decor for you because it's that time of year so please like share and subscribe and have a great day